Hi, my name is Ryan Fleming and I am the pilot's advisor. And what I wanted to talk to you today is about helping you make better decisions when the world's uncertain. We're in a very uncertain time right now. And I thought, no, what better entity to kind of look at and see how they handle adversity and struggles in a fluid situation than Navy SEALs. So I'm going to turn to Navy SEALs and kind of talk about three of the lessons that they have to deal with uncertainty and how you can deal with it and still accomplish your goals. Um, we're dealing with more uncertainty right now than the United States has dealt with in a long time or, you know, me personally, I could say my lifestyle or lifetime, uh, except when I think about like the greatest generation, those in World War I or World War II, some of the things that they had to deal with. And then I think that this is a, a little tiny thing compared to those, some of those generations and what they had to put up with. But I also don't think we're as tough as we used to be back then. So as the months drag on, it gets harder and harder to deal with this uncertainty and it just starts taking a toll. But fortunately, we have Navy SEALs to turn to for help. Um, they undergo some of the best training in the military, some of the most stressful situations in combat, and you know, dealing with when there's changes that we couldn't have predicted and how to still thrive in those situations and those challenging situations. So one of the lessons they talk about Navy SEALs is lesson number one, embrace the suck or, you know, embrace your circumstances. Life throws us curveballs all the time, sometimes more than one at a time. And we can't really control what happens to us or avoid them, but we can switch our mental state of mind or our attitude to help us deal with those things and have more readiness to accept challenges going forward. I kind of think about it when we talk about, or at least my parents mentoring me growing up, you know, who can you can control? What can you can control? And it's not exactly what happens to you, but how you react to it going forward, what kind of person you're going to be reacting to that situation. Um, lesson number two, when you're feeling overwhelmed, move the goalposts a little bit closer to you. Just take baby steps or take little bites of that big, massive sandwich when the whole sandwich seems to be uh, uh, very overwhelming. Or another way to say it is com compartmentalize you know, certain things from each other. And, and I know pilots and military individuals are very good at this. Um, but right now is unprecedented times. And you know, try not to do too much all at once. Try to focus on, you know, I think about basic training, getting to lunch. And then after that, okay, let's make it to dinner. Um, so breaking those ch challenges down into smaller, more manageable victories, it'll give you a sense of accomplishment and shift your brain out of the overwhelming uh, paralysis analysis. Uh, lesson number three, I think about, you know, when times are tough or you're stuck in the mud, um, start singing or, or my grandpa used to say, sometimes you got to grab your bootstraps, look up at the sky and just go, ah, hell. And then you move forward. Um, it's another way of saying when you feel powerless or negative, take some small action that you can control and get back into that positive mindset. So right now, when I think about the markets, we can't control the markets, but we can make a financial plan. We can take steps moving forward regardless of the volatility. We can't control the coronavirus, but we can control our ability or cut down on our risk of possibly getting infected. We can cut down on our probability of being around other people or infecting other people. We can't predict the economy right now, but we can triple check our backup plans and make strategies going forward. As a financial professional, like I'm a student of psychology and human behavior because it affects investing so much and almost more so than I am of economics and finance. Uh, behavior determines many, many out outcomes in life. And after working with clients for many, many years, I've discovered that being disciplined and having the right mindset is probably going to have a greater impact on your financial future than what the markets are actually going to do. So by using all those things and having the right behaviors, it helps you be exposed to the market in the proper way over the long time and you're going to, over the long term. And that's how you're going to win. So I love new learning new ways of talking about stuff, thinking about things. And that's why I wanted to bring the Navy SEALs in today because it's, you know, it's tough times. We're in combat now and we have to have the right mindset going forward. So I want to know how you guys deal with stress and uncertainty. Uh, if you have learned anything new about how to handle the coronavirus or something that you might want to share with others of us out there, because we need to stay together. We're in this together. We'll get through it together. Uh, feel free to drop me a line or if you want to discuss with me anything we talked about today. Other than that, 
Uh, stay safe. Take care of each other. Take care of your family. And make good decisions. We'll talk to you soon.